lovelies, Lauren here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be guiding you through a yoga dance flow. So this is a creative sequence where all the poses are going to be seamlessly tied together. We're going to be exploring continuous movements. So we're not going to be really holding the poses for that long. We're aiming to kind of turn our practice into this kind of mindful dance in a way, very mindful movement. With all that being said, I wouldn't recommend this for absolute beginners just because there are a couple changes in directions, the transitions are quite creative, so it might get a little bit overwhelming. But don't worry, I do have lots of beginner friendly videos on my channel, so do feel free to go ahead and take a look. But if you are happy to join me today, just make sure you've got a fair amount of space around you. I'm going to see how I get on in my little yoga corner. But for you guys, just make sure you've got a little bit of space. And um, we're going to start standing at the top of our mat in a forward fold. Feel free to maybe have some blocks nearby just in case they're not entirely necessary for our practice today but you might find you want to use them here and there okay. So when you're ready let's soften through the knees have the feet to underneath our hips and come into this nice and easy forward fold. You can let the arms kind of hang in space or maybe we take hold of opposite elbows and have a little bit of a sway from side to side. Beautiful taking a few moments just to arrive here. Enjoying this a little bit of a stretch, so getting that beautiful release across the lower spine, starting to activate down the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves, and see if we can send that activation all the way down to our feet, so spread the toes down into the mat. Continue this little sway, shift the weight from side to side. Beautiful. Just take a couple of easy going breaths here, sigh away your day, letting go of any thoughts to do with your day, what happened, what might have happened. Lovely. Really grounding into your practice. Notice how your body is feeling today, how are you feeling in the mind. Just taking a few of these precious moments to really check in. And over time already, perhaps finding we're coming that little bit further into the fold. So finding just that little bit more softness. Let the breath really kind of help the upper body to melt down here. And perhaps even imagining this waterfall running down your back. So starting at the very base of your spine is going to roll down the back and slowly drip off the crown of the head. Letting that water fall off into this peaceful pool just below your feet. And with that waterfall, it just washes away any tension, any stress, any perhaps intrusive thoughts. Just letting them kind of fall away from you now. And let's take two more breaths here. And deep breath in through the nose. Soft sigh out through the mouth. One more deep breath in through the nose. And a soft sigh out through the mouth. Beautiful. From here, as we inhale, let's gently begin to roll up through the spine. So tuck the chin towards the chest. Stack up bone by bone. Take your time. No need to rush. Beautiful, the head is the th gonna be the final thing to lift. So lift the head, roll the shoulders down and away from those ears. Take a moment to open up across the heart. Beautiful, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful, take a moment to arrive in standing. I know sometimes when we spend a lot of time in that forward fold and then come at standing, there might be a few moments of busyness. So just take a moment to really ground here. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, beautiful. Bringing in a little bit more movement into this upper portion of our body, so this main trunk of the body. So let's take a breath in and open the arms out into this T-shape, almost like you're spreading your wings out to the side. Deep breath in. And then as we exhale, we're gonna lean to the right. So your right hand just comes down past your right thigh, left arm sweeps up and over. You can almost kind of push the left hip to the side just a tad, beautiful. Take a breath in. 
And then as you exhale, soften through the knees, bring your fingertips to meet out in front of you. So almost like you're hugging this nice big beach ball in between the arms. So you've got this slight curve in the elbows. Tuck the chin down towards the chest, tuck the tailbone under and see if we can find that stretch in between the shoulder blades. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Beautiful. As we inhale, we're going to sweep across to the other side. So left hand by your left thigh, right arm sweeps up and over, leaning to the left. And again, maybe pushing that right hip over to the right. So again, nice big side body stretch all the way from the pinky toe of your right foot to the pinky finger of that right hand. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Exhale, soften through the knees. Again, the fingertips meet out in front of you. So tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Beautiful. Breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. And as we inhale, we come across to the other side. Beautiful. And then let's come back to that T-shape. So open back out to that T-shape. Spread the wings out nice and wide. We're going to do this a couple of times. So exhale, lean to the right, left arm up and over. Beautiful, soften through the knees, fingertips meet, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and over, lean to the left. Beautiful. Let's inhale, come back to the T-shape, so we kind of recenter, recalibrate. Exhale, other way we go to the left. Soften through the knees, fingertips meet, and inhale to the right. Beautiful, through the center, spread the wings out to the side. Let's go maybe twice more of those sides, to the right. And through the center, beautiful fingertips meet. To the left, right arm sweeps up. And rise up, T-shape, beautiful, spread the wings. Exhale, other way, to the left. Fingertips meet. And to the right. Inhale, rise up through the center. Beautiful, well done. Let the arms come down, have a little roll out through the shoulders. Beautiful. Coming to stand at the top of the mat again if we've kind of shifted away from that place. Let's take a big breath in. Sweep the arms up, grow even taller. As you exhale, pull the heart forwards, dive the body down, come back into your standing forward fold. And as we come here for the second time, what's changed here? Notice whether there's been a little shift in the body. Maybe we can go that a little bit further, maybe. Let's take an inhale, find a halfway lift. Fingertips to your shin, zip up through the spine, flat back. Exhale, return to your fold. Let's bend the knees, plant the hands, and let's step it back into a little plank pose. So finding just that little bit of strength through the body, wrists underneath your shoulders, hips in line with the shoulders. Beautiful, push the ground away. Take a breath. As we exhale, let's lower the knees first, hug the elbows in, softly come all the way down onto your belly. It's beautiful. Let's inhale to roll the shoulders away from the ears, lightly push down through the fingertips to lift the head, lift the chest, come into maybe a full cobra or maybe we're a little bit further down here into a baby cobra or maybe we're taking a sphinx pose, keeping the elbows down. So entirely your choice, you might be here, you might be here or you might be here. Beautiful. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful. From wherever you are, push down through the hands. Send your hips all the way back towards your heels. Take a very brief little child's pose. So let the forehead perhaps meet the mat, pour the belly, or let the belly melt in between the thighs. Stretching the fingertips forwards. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. As we inhale here, let's begin to rise up, tuck the chin towards the chest, tuck the tailbone under. So we come up through this curved spine in our tabletop and then continue to shift the weight forward, softly melt the hips down towards the mat and we rise back up into, again, it might be sphinx, might be baby cobra, might be a full cobra. Shoulders down and away from the ears, take a breath in. Exhale, push down through the hands, knit the rib cage together, and again, we melt the hips back towards our heels. Beautiful. We're going to kind of flow through that just a couple of times. So, inhaling to rise up, curve through the spine as you go to lift the shoulder blades up to the sky. Exhale, softly let the hips come down with control and lift up through the heart. Deep breath in. 
Exhale, push, tuck the chin towards the chest, pull the ribs in, send it back, child's pose. Beautiful, let's take one more full round. Inhale to rise up, gently mobilizing through the spine. Softly send the hips down towards the mat, lift up through the heart, cobra. Breath in. Now this time as we exhale, let's tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and then fly the bum to the sky, downward facing dog, okay. Now do feel free to take this opportunity in your downward facing dog to have a little wiggle here. So bend through the knees, maybe both knees at the same time or one, then the other. Turn this downward facing dog in a little bit of a dancing downward facing dog. So we can sway the hips from side to side, find a little twist here and there, maybe take an arm up to the sky. Anything goes here. And if you'd rather not move much at all, if you'd rather maybe hold that little bit of stillness, feel free to do so. Okay. So using this as an opportunity to really warm up the entire body here. Lovely, well done. Okay, let's take two more breaths. Any go anything goes, one more breath in, one more breath out. Beautiful, settling back into your downward facing dog. Maybe the heels of the feet meet, meet the mat, maybe they don't. Root down through all 10 fingertips. And then as we inhale, let's look forward towards our fingertips and bend through the knees and softly walk the feet all the way towards our hands. Take as many little steps as we need to, coming all the way to the top of the mat. And as you get there, feel free to just kind of shake the wrists off a little bit, shake the shoulders back into your forward fold, shake the head, shake the neck, beautiful. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then inhale to steadily roll it through the spine, coming all the way back up to standing. And again, take your time, no need to rush. Head is the final thing to lift, and then we take the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Exhale, send them back and down. Beautiful. Okay, let's start to look through our sequence for today. So we start in standing nice and easy. All we're gonna do, inhale, sweep the arms up, grow as tall as we can. And then as we exhale, we open across the heart, pull the heart forwards into your standing forward fold. We inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to our shins, create space, create length in the spine. Exhale, maintain that length as you fold. We bend the knees, we plant the fingertips, take a nice big step back with the left leg. Beautiful, drop the left heel down. We're going to windmill the arm, so left arm starts, right arm follows, and we arrive in a warrior two. Beautiful. So sinking into the right knee, tucking the tailbone under, soften through the shoulders, and we've got the right arm reaching forwards, left arm reaching back. See if we can also have this nice long line from one arm to the other. Quite often when we're looking forwards, we lose track of what this back arm is doing. Sometimes it's down here, sometimes it's up here. Let's see if we can bring it in line with that front arm. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. As we inhale, let's reverse it, left hand down to the back of the left thigh, right fingertips soar on up. As you reach up through the right fingertips, let's see if we can keep sinking down into the right knee. Take a breath. And take an exhale. Let's inhale, keep the upper body the same. You're just gonna lengthen the right leg. Then we pick up the right toes and point those right toes to the long edge of the mat. So we're kind of changing our stance, beautiful. Let this right hand begin to dive down. It's going to reach towards the left foot. And then we steadily walk the hands through the center and we pause here, wide legged forward fold. So maybe the hands comfortably come down to the ground or maybe we bring them to the thighs or the shins or to a couple of blocks maybe. But let yourselves hang out here for a moment. So gripping down through the outer edges of both feet. You can have a little sway here if you wish. Beautiful. So this practice is all about intuitive movement. So yes, we're kind of following a set sequence, but there's all this opportunity for playfulness to really listen to your body, find out what it needs and kind of move in a way that really feels good for you today. Okay. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. 
Beautiful. Now, as you inhale, begin to walk your hands towards your right foot. Right toes point to the top of the mat. So again, we pivot on that right heel again. Right hand reaches in front of the right foot, maybe slightly to the diagonal. We shift the weight into the right leg, drag the left toes in. Sweep the left arm back and up, half moon. Now, of course, you could use a block underneath that right hand to bring the ground up to you. Beautiful. Let that left leg be active, so kick energy out through that left heel. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Now imagine... We're keeping this left leg lifted as high as we can. Keep the left leg out to the side. Beautiful. Now imagine something's pulling you up by your left fingertips. Slowly rise on up. Be strong through that right leg. Kick the left leg out in front of you. Send both arms to the sky. Beautiful. Well done. Take a breath in. Breath out. And then bend into this left knee. Start to kick the left foot back behind you, dive the heart forward, sweep the arms down by our sides, come into an airplane pose, beautiful, so soft and steady, no need to rush, find that nice long line in the body, but take a breath in, as we exhale, let's softly bring the fingertips down to the mat, and we're going to step that left foot all the way to the back, beautiful. Plant down through the hands. Let's send this right leg all the way up to the sky. And we're going to open out to an open three leg dock. So we bend into this right knee. Let the right heel kind of be a little bit heavy here. So really take that right knee as high up into the sky as it can go. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lengthen the right leg for me. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest. Beautiful. And then you're going to drop the left heel, kick the right foot over to the left hand side. See if we can take that left arm up. Fallen triangle. Beautiful. This is a slightly stronger posture. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then steadily slide the right heel away from you. Control the sit bones down to the earth. Really well done. We let that left foot roll out. We arrive in a seated straddle. You might kind of be on the diagonal here or you might be kind of facing the long edge of the mat. Doesn't really matter where you end up. Just take a moment to arrive. You can give the legs a little shake here. Beautiful. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Okay. Now imagine we've just landed from that fallen triangle. So you had the right hand down, left hand reaching up. So we've just dropped the sit bones down. This left hand is then going to reach towards the right foot. Beautiful. And it's going to sweep across through the center in a similar way to our wide leg forward fold in standing. Similar here, we're going to pause for a moment. So letting the fingertips reach forwards, keep leading with the belly, chest, then chin. So try not to send the forehead down to the mat. So we're kind of rounding through the back. Lead with the belly, chest, then chin. So we keep this nice long spine as we fold. Beautiful. Take about two breaths in here. Lovely. One more. Okay. Let's inhale to slowly begin to rise all the way back up. Okay, I'm going to break this down for you because it's a little bit tricky. So, Left hand now comes to the outside edge of the left leg. So you can see where we're going. We're going to turn to face the back of the mat. Right hand is going to reach up to the sky. You're going to use all your strength, all your might to lift yourselves up into a fallen triangle on the other side. So take a breath in. Exhale, we lift. Beautiful, well done. Take a breath in. Now as we exhale, right hand comes down next to left. We step this left foot to the original top of the mat, right foot joins it, and we come into a plank pose facing the back. Beautiful. From here, take an inhale to shift the weight forwards towards your fingertips, and then lift the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. See if you can really press your belly back to the thighs here, okay? Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, lift up high onto the balls of the feet. And then you're going to pivot on the feet. So send the knees to the left. The right hip wants to come down to the mat. 
let the left hand lift off, slowly bring the sit bones down, and we arrive, hey presto, facing the front in an easy seat. And hopefully we've got the left shin in, in front of the right, okay? So we've just kind of spun ourselves around. Let's take a deep, deep breath in to rise up high. And as you exhale, let's take a nice and easy fold. Beautiful. So there's this moment where we kind of rise up into our seat. Exhale, fold all the way forwards. Beautiful. Let's pause here for another breath. And an exhale. Inhale to lift up through the heart. And then you're going to kind of lean to the right as you release this left leg, swing it all the way back, push down through the hands to lift the hips off and settle into your pigeon pose. Beautiful. So let the hips be fairly heavy here and you can stay onto the hands or maybe you drop onto the elbows or maybe even one hand on top of the other forehead to the back of the hands. Beautiful. Okay, so this is our last pose in the sequence on this side. So this is a moment we can take just to kind of, again, ground, find the breath, notice any little changes in the body here and there. And let's take one more breath in. One more breath out. Okay, as we inhale, steadily lift up through the head and heart. Push down through the hands to help you get there. And then tuck the left toes under. Walk the left knee in just a couple of times to shorten your stance. And then we're going to push down through the hands, lift this right knee off and simply step the right foot back next to left, back into your downward facing dog. And again, feel free to wiggle around, move and groove as much as you wish. Beautiful. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale to look forwards, bend through the knees and steadily walk the feet all the way towards your hands. Take as many little tiny steps as you need to get there. Lovely, hang out for a moment in your forward fold. Okay, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, steadily roll up through the spine. Lovely, well done. Take the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, side them down and away. Okay, let's have a little look at the other side. So exactly the same, just on the other side. So let's take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up, grow tall. Exhale, pull the heart forwards, standing forward fold. Beautiful. Okay, inhale, halfway lift, find length, create space. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the fingertips. Nice big step back with the right leg this time. Dropping the right heel down, windmill the arms, right arm starts, left arm follows. Warrior two on the other side. Beautiful. So we can probably already to get this sense of the poses seamlessly connecting together. So one breath takes us into the next movement. Beautiful. Let's pause for a moment here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, reverse. Right hand down to the back of the right thigh. Left fingertips soar up to the sky. Keep sinking into that left knee as you go. Beautiful. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, keep the upper body the same. Just begin to lengthen the left leg. So still leaning away from those left toes. And then lift the left toes up to the sky. Pivot the foot to face the long edge of the mat. Left hand starts to dive down. It's reaching towards the right foot. And then we slowly walk the hands through the center into this wide legged forward fold. And again, let's pause here for a moment. Beautiful. Soften through the knees if you need to. Have a little sway from the, to the side if you wish. Beautiful. One more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Okay. Inhale, rise up. So lengthen out the arms and then you're going to walk the hands to the left foot. As you go, pivot those left toes to face the top of the mat. 
Left hand reaches forward slightly on the diagonal. We shift the weight into that left foot and left hand. Take the right leg to the sky, right arm sweeps back and up, half moon, beautiful. This is one of those really tricky balances, so take your time here, beautiful. Breath in, breath out. Lovely. Okay, that challenging transition coming up. So kick the right leg out to the side. Keep it lifted nice and high. Imagine something's pulling you up by your right fingertips. So the left hand floats off. Beautiful. Right leg kicks out in front. Arms reach up to the sky into the standing balance. So see if you can really lift this right leg as high as it wants to go. Take a breath. Exhale, bend into that right knee. Start to kick the right foot back behind you. Pour the heart forwards, hands sweep down by your sides, airplane. Lovely, it's a lot of strength down through that left leg. Take a breath in. Exhale, we softly bring the hands down, soften in that left knee. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. And then we're gonna send this left leg all the way up to the sky, open three leg dog, beautiful. So open that left knee out to the side. Maybe glance underneath your left arm here. Beautiful, deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, lengthen the left leg. Exhale, draw that left knee back into the chest. Drop the right heel down, kick the left leg to the right. Right arm reaches up to the sky, fall in triangle. Beautiful, take a breath in. Now as we exhale, we slowly slide that left heel away from us to control the sit bones down to the mat. We roll out that right hip, so we come to the seated straddle. Take a breath in, we're still reaching up through that right arm. And as we exhale, right hand comes down to the left toes. We sweep it through the center, coming into a seated wide leg forward fold. So same again, let's pause here on this side. Softly allow the body to come that little bit further if it wants to, but again, try not to bring any force into this practice. Everything soft, steady. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Okay. Beautiful. As we inhale, begin to walk the hands to the right foot, rising up as you go. Right hand to the outside edge of the right leg, left hand reaching to the sky. We know what's coming, this big lift off into that fallen triangle. So take your breath in. Exhale, rise, lift up through the hips, beautiful. One more breath. Exhale, left hand down next to right. Pull the right leg through, step it to the original top of the mat. Left leg kind of joins it and we're in this plank pose facing the back, beautiful. Inhale, shift the weight forwards. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog, okay. Beautiful, walk the feet in a touch if they need to, take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then we're going to bend the knees, start to send the knees to the right, lovely, so we kind of pivot on the feet slightly, left hip comes down to the mat, lift the right hand, sit bones come down, and we magically turn to face the top of the mat in that easy seat on the other side, so this time we've got the right shin in front of the left, inhale, rise up through the heart, grow tall, exhale, fold, beautiful, really well done. Okay, take a couple deep breaths in, deep breaths out, really let yourself soften into this fold here, one more, and then as you inhale, rising on up, and as you go, take a moment to lean to the left, so we can release this right leg, and see if you can almost draw this kind of semicircle with your right toe, sweeping it all the way to the back. Plant down through the hands to lift the hips off, reset into your pigeon. Beautiful. So let the hips be super heavy. Try to make sure we're not collapsing down to the left side or even to the right side. The hips are kind of neutral here. Either staying up onto the hands or maybe dropping down onto the elbows. Or bring the forehead to rest to the back of the hands here. Beautiful. Really well done. Okay. Taking 
One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, softly rise all the way back up. Plant the hands down in towards the mat, tuck the right toes under, walk the right knee in. And then lift the hips up to the sky, step the left foot back, next to right, down with facing dog. Again, have this little wiggle here if we need to. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Inhale, looking forwards towards your fingertips, bend the knees, softly walk your feet all the way towards your hands. Beautiful, okay. Soften into the fold as you arrive. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And as we inhale, let's steadily roll it through the spine, stack up bone by bone. Take the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, send them down and away. Okay. So we've done our set sequence on both sides. Usually I'd run through it perhaps another time before coming into the full flow, moving at this kind of continuous soft pace. But we're gonna go straight into that now. But if you feel like you need a little bit more time to perhaps go over the sequence, find out or remember what comes next, what hand needs to be where, feel free to do that. But don't worry if we kind of move through the sequence and something goes a little bit wrong, we lose direction or lose where we're supposed to be facing. It's all good. Make up your own sequence. Make it part of the practice. Make it part of the dance. It's all kind of part of this intuitive movement, this mindful flow and letting the breath guide you where the breath wants to go in a way. Okay, so as always, I'm going to be guiding you through, but do not worry, just stay with the breath and enjoy it as much, much as you can. So we are going to be moving a little bit quicker. Okay, we're going to do both sides straight after the other. So let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, let's rise up high, grow tall. Exhale, fold it forward, standing forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the fingertips, left foot steps back. Winds with the arms, left arm starts, right arm follows. Move through your warrior two, straight into that reverse. Right arm reaches up. Beautiful, lengthen the right leg. Pivot the right toes. And dive that right arm down through this wide leg forward fold. We're not going to pause here this time. So continue walking the hands round to the right foot. Reach the right arm forward, shift the weight into the right leg. Left arm sweeps back and up, half moon. Beautiful breath in. Exhale, left leg kicks out to the side. Softly rise up, beautiful. Keep that left leg lifted as you go. Arms to the sky, left leg out in front, big inhale here. Exhale, bend into that left knee, sweep it back behind you, pull the heart forwards, airplane. Soft and steady, breath in. Exhale, hands come down. A big step back of the left foot to the back of the mat. Send the right knee all the way up to the sky. Open three leg dog, big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, lengthen right leg. Exhale, right knee into the chest. You're moving to your fallen triangle. So kick right foot over to the left. Left arm to sky, breath in. Exhale, control the sit bones down. Beautiful, well done. Fold the left hand, reach it towards the right toes. Again, we're not pausing through the center. We keep it going. Walk the hands to the left foot. Come to the outside edge of the left leg. Big inhale, right arm to the sky. Fall in triangle on the other side. Breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down. Step the left foot back. Right leg follows, plank. Inhale, shift the way forwards. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Lift up high onto the balls of the feet. Send the knees to the left, right hip comes down. Left arm releases to the sky, slowly releases it, bones down. There's this moment where we inhale to rise up high. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, inhale, rise all the way back up. Lean to the right, big sweep around with that left leg into your pigeon pose. So do take an inhale to reset. 
and your exhale to fold. Beautiful inhale, we rise straight back up again. Tuck the left toes under, step right foot back next to left, down dog. Inhale, looking forwards, and let's steadily walk the feet towards our hands. Beautiful. Okay, already that's the first side done. Inhale, steadily roll it through the spine as you come back to the top of the mat. Come all the way up to standing, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, down and away. Other side, you've got this. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, pull the heart forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the fingertips, right foot steps back this time. Drop the right heel, right arm rises, left arm follows through warrior two into your, into your reverse. So left arm reaches up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Lift the left toes. Dive the left hand to the right leg, so sweeping it through your wide leg forward fold. Continue to walk the hands to the left foot. Point left toes to the top of the mat. Shift the weight forwards into that half moon. Beautiful. Roll that right shoulder back and up. Exhale, kick that right leg out to the side. Beautiful. Inhale to rise. Be strong through that left leg. Really well done. Breath in. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Kick it back behind you, airplane. Beautiful. Breath in. Exhale, softly pour the hands down. Right foot to the back of the mat. Left knee to the sky. Open three-leg dog. Breath in. Breath out. Left knee to the chest. Fall in triangle. So kick the left foot to the right. Right arm to sky. Breath in. Exhale, sit bones come down. Beautiful. Sweeping the right hand down to the left foot. It comes across through the centre. Right hand to the outside edge of the left leg. Left arm to sky. Breath in, you rise. Exhale, left hand down. Step right foot to the original top of the mat. Left foot follows it into your plank. Inhale, shift the weight forwards. Exhale, rise it high, down dog. Nearly there, keep it going all the way to the end. And lift up high onto the balls of the feet. Send the knees to the right, left hip comes down, right hand releases, and we slowly rise up, inhale, easy seat, exhale, fold, inhale, ripple up through the spine, lean to the left, release that right leg all the way around, take an inhale to reset, exhale, fold into your pigeon. Inhale, rise back up high, tuck the right toes under, left foot back next to right, downward facing dog. Beautiful breath in, look forwards, bend through the knees and steadily walk the feet towards your hands. Standing forward fold at the top of our mat. Too well done. Oh, and just like that, that is both sides done. Beautiful. Notice how you feel now after that continuous flow. Do feel free to give yourself some wrist relief. So if you need to kind of stretch off the wrist here, bring the backs the hands down to the mat, bending through the knees as much as you need to and sway from side to side. Perhaps you can even place the backs of the hands underneath your feet, bringing the toes to the inner crease of the wrist and giving the toes a little bit of a wiggle. Beautiful, notice your breath rate, your heart rate. One more deep breath in, one more deep breath out. Let's lightly bend through the knees, heel toe the feet out, about mat distance apart, toes pointing out, heels in. And then sinking the hips down, coming into your little malasana. So let the hips sink real low, do feel free to use a couple of blocks or cushions underneath the sit bones to give the hips that little bit more support. Fingertips can stay down for a little bit of extra grounding or maybe palms and hands come together in front of the heart. Elbows press into the inner creases of the knees. And maybe close off the eyes here. 
after all that continuous flow, after moving around and round on our mats. It's nice to find this brief moment of stillness. Beautiful. Take two more breaths here. One more. Softly bring the hands back down to the ground. Use your hands to help you to guide the sit bones all the way down to the mat. Feel free to bring the hands back behind you for a moment and just sway the knees from side to side, easing out any tension that may be there in the hips. Lovely. Okay. And then from here, let's soften through the elbows and come all the way down onto our backs. Draw the knees into the chest as you go. Perhaps curling yourselves up into this little ball, letting the spine decompress along your mats for a moment. Beautiful. And then before we come into our little relaxation, let's take a little twist. So let's keep hold of the right shin into the chest, let the left leg fly away so maybe it rests along your mat or maybe we bring the left foot down towards the ground keeping that left knee kind of pointed up to the sky. Take a breath in, take a breath out. And then bring the left hand to the outside edge of the right knee, right arm extends out to the side and gently guide the knee across the body over to the left, gently coming into that twist. And if we feel as though we've gone too far, feel free to scale it back. Beautiful. Keeping that right shoulder blade down to the mat if we can here. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, bring that right knee back up through the center. Hug it in one final time. And then gently changing over, bring the left knee in, send the right leg away. Beautiful, being really kind to your bodies now. After all that movement, just gently slowing things down, bringing ourselves back down to earth. So let's take that twist on the other side, right hand to the outside edge of the left knee, left arm extends out to the side. And we guide the knee across the body over to the right, keeping that left shoulder blade down as you go. Beautiful. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And as you inhale, bring it back through the center. One final hug of the left knee in. And then as we exhale, let the left leg fall down next to the right, gradually coming into our final Shavasana. So find a place that feels comfortable for you. You might keep the knees bent, allowing them to knock together, bringing the feet about mat distance apart. You might do the opposite, bring the soles of the feet together and send the knees out to the side for your butterfly shape. Or maybe we're quite happy simply sending the legs Long along your mat, letting the feet flop out to the side. Arms can rest down by your sides or maybe hands rest on your belly here or on your rib cage. Take a moment to just arrive here now. And again, notice how you feel. Notice your emotional state now, your energetic state now. After we've moved our bodies and shifted our energy around, we might feel this kind of softness, this release almost as we come into these few moments of stillness. Let yourself sink into your mat or the ground beneath you. Let it welcome you in. Feeling truly grounded in this moment. 
and there's nowhere else we need to be, nothing else we need to do apart from simply be here in this moment, just listening and observing that natural ebb and flow of our breath. Take about three more breaths here in your own time. Keep it soft, keep it steady. And then on your next breath in, See if you can make it the deepest, most conscious breath you've had yet today. Deep breath in. And a beautiful sigh out. Feel free to repeat that a couple of times, maybe. Or maybe beginning to gently bring some movement back into the body, wiggling the fingertips, the toes, wrists, ankles. If you're not quite ready to move yet and you'd rather stay where you are, absolutely feel free to do so. Or maybe taking that full body stretch along your mat, stretching the arms back behind you, the toes out front. And then when you're ready, just simply choose a side, left or right, and let the body roll to that one side. Again, take your time. Really no need to rush, move softly, careful not to move the body too abruptly here. And then keeping the eyes closed, using the hands to help you, but rising up into this comfortable seat. So perhaps coming to cross-legged or kneeling. Finding this comfortable seat, see if we can nestle the sit bones down into the ground, palms the hands, find the knees, shoulders slide down and away from those ears. And as always, we seal our practice together with the final blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. And may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life. And with that, we bring the palms to hands together in front of the heart. And we bow. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for that yoga dance flow. I hope it's perhaps got those creative juices flowing. Hope you were able to really in tune or tune in with your breath and move one breath seamlessly taking you into the next pose. Yes, yeah, so I hope you found that kind of easygoing sense of flow there. But as always, I will be back next Sunday with another free class for you. So I hope you have a lovely week in the meantime and I'll see you then. Mwah.